Hey, welcome back to the workshop. I'm doing one of the door panels, uh, one of the last ones. Uh, well, the the big passenger side. Um, so there's my contact cement. I just started. I figured I'd get a video of it. Here's my nice new vinyl. There's the door panel with the foam ready to go. I'm going to put the contact cement on. Just regular old contact cement. I'm using a cheap brush. Let's get a decent amount on and you just give it a spread it out. The marks that I have on there, the outline is where the edge of the door meets. Kind of as a guide for me to where to put it down. So I'm going to do this and I'll get back to you, show you some more. All right, there's the vinyl covered in contact cement. I went over it. You don't want to let it puddle up. You want to spread it out. You know, if you see some puddles forming, you just give them a spread. But you don't need a ton, just a layer. It'll soak into the, the fiber backing there. But now I'm going to get the foam on here. Be right back. All right, I just did the door panel on the foam side. Can't really see it. Um, I didn't do the curve right here. I'm going to do that after I get the main piece positioned and then um, I'll press the uh, vinyl over the edge because it's got to go over the top and then it's got to go over this lip right here. So I'm going to let this set for about 10 minutes and then I'll get back. Thanks. All right, so I've got the panel down on top of the vinyl. Uh, I turned it facing up so I can smooth the vinyl out from the other side because I did get a couple bubbles, but you just smooth them out towards the ends and they, they get nice and flat. Um, so I did that. I prepped my corners, so I got my corners cut down a little bit so I don't have a big pile of fabric right here that I got to deal with. I made my slices to get around the nails, so these will just fold over like that. Um... I'm starting to prep the fold over. You know, I'm putting the, the cement, contact cement along this spot where it's gonna fold up and over. I gotta do the bottom. Uh, I got that corner prepped. So I'm gonna keep working on this and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so I got all the contact cement down. I'm letting it tack up right now. Uh, you may have noticed I'm not exactly on my lines but that's okay because i it's more of a reference point just of about where to put the, the panel. Um, I'm not an expert uh, upholsterer. I'm barely a novice upholsterer. Uh, so I'm sure an expert would have measured everything like to the right length. I gave myself a lot of extra room. Like this is a bit long. Obviously when this comes over, I'm gonna have to trim it, which I'm fine with. I'd rather have more room to work with and waste a little bit then then come up short um the fabric i got came in a five yard roll i don't need the full five yards so i you know and i'm not going to use it when i'm done with it so i've got a little more room but uh but yeah once this tacks up i'm going to start flipping these flipping these corners up smoothing them out and then i'll drive uh the corners get a little bulky you know because you got to fold it in but uh i drive quarter inch staples in to keep everything nice and tight. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm starting to do that curve that goes along the metal trim plate here, right? So I, I've got it, so it's hanging over the edge and I'm just kind of pulling my hand up and around, right? And I'm going down the end, going down the line, just smoothing it, bringing it up, smooth it from the bottom, bring it up, Smooth it, press it down, smooth it. I'm trying to get those air bubbles out from underneath, make sure I don't introduce any new ones. And then I'm gonna come back. I'll have to deal with this corner. And I'm gonna fold over the top. Press that down. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can use two hands and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I got all the edges folded up over. Um, 
I got some cleanup work to do here. This is a lot of extra that I got to trim off the end. You can see it, how, how far over it goes. But I drove some staples in on the corner, quarter inch. They don't go through. Uh, and I drove one around each of the, the nails, the tack nails that are just, they kind of clamp on. Uh, some more in the corner. Same thing down here. I'll probably put a couple more in. I'll probably do a few staples all along here. All right, now I'm just gonna take a razor blade and run along the edge here and clean this up. I'll be back. Okay, so here we go. I've got it trimmed to the, to the right length, folded over that top bend. I cut the recesses for the door panel. So those are all good, nice and flat. I've got my corners done. Put this clamp on here because I can't I can't staple that down, but let the contact cement do its thing. And a few more staples in here. That one might have to come out, but but yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then we'll flip it over. Put it down gently, and there we have it. It's kind of hard to see, but nice smooth. A couple little bumps, but it's hard camera makes it a little weird but this is where the the uh door handle goes and then we got a uh, power window switch and we got a uh, vent window crank uh, a couple other holes for the the handle the, the armrest um what worried me the first time was there was a little bit of uh the um adhesive looked like it was coming through like it was looking a little damp and i was worried it would get sticky but i think it's just the the chemical evaporating and it kind of goes through the vinyl but this goes away it doesn't get sticky it doesn't the contact cement doesn't go through the fabric it's it's all good so what i like to do is i turn it back over those nails make it a little cumbersome to work with once they're on but they're not too bad uh, and I like to put something on here just to weigh it down a little bit, just to hold everything in place. Um, and then just let it set, let it dry for, uh, I think they tell you to let it cure for a day or so. But uh, yeah, so first time doing a door panel restore. If you're a, a good DIYer, you could probably do it yourself, find some directions. Uh, I did some research, watched some videos. I, I got a good result. Uh, next step is I got to put the trim on. I'm going to have to poke some holes through here because the trim, you know, it's got these, uh, these nails that go through that you push through and you bend down. So that's what all these holes are for the various trim pieces. So I'll be doing that next. More to come. Thank you, everyone.